something we got to talk about last week. Okay. Uh, let's talk about last week. I don't know what I happened. I dropped the week. clip. Let me see if I can pull it up. I dropped the clip on YouTube. Oh, Lord. And the community, oh, the, oh, the, oh, Lord. The community <laughs> went crazy. And I'm just curious. <laughs> Oh, we got ourselves in trouble. Shout out to the shout out to uh shout out to the uh, the alphabets. No, nah, I don't say that. Shout out to the the community, man. Um, what? That's not that wasn't the right thing to say. I don't know. So let's pull it up. Let me see if I can pull it up. So for y'all that don't know, because YouTube and Instagram is two different audiences, right? I post Fact. a video about like my reaction to the big sexy interview, right. and I was just. Uh, reflecting on the interview or whatever, right? You can make sure you're. I'm gonna pull it up. Let's see. How do I share present? And they roasted me in the comments. They were saying I was mm -hmm. fake. I uh, mm -hmm. what were they saying? I was fake. Uh, wait. How do I do this? Y'all haven't done this. Just present, share screen, or just share screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, present. Hold on. Hit present. And then share screen and then find the Chrome okay. tab. All right, bet window or, or Chrome tab. You said Chrome tab? Uh it should be a Chrome tab. This is on tab, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Um all right, let's see. So and I'ma just I'm gonna pull this up and I'm gonna just go to the comments so y'all can see. We don't even have to see the video, but they were kill boy. You talking about public scrutiny? God damn! What is it? This is so weird. If you're actually a real straight man, another man's sexuality should never make you uncomfortable. Period. Wow, that's so fake. I'm going to unsubscribe. All I hear out you is contradictions. Not gonna lie, this is a bit uh, disappointing. To be honest, straight men treat straight men treat gay men like we're subhuman and lower than them. But us just existing makes y'all uncomfortable. Ain't that some shit? Uh, Y'all stop looking for approval from straight men. We can be disrespectful, but keep it there. I hope uh, we as a community learn from this. Uh, this conversation is uncomfortable. This is wild. I actually thought he was an ally. It's interesting because I watched this show. It's just, it just goes on. Like, they were just, like, it, I'm like, damn, like, shit. You were um, <laughs> hey, I don't know. what was that? You were solid too. Like it's funny as hell. I'm not, I'm not, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Did this nigga call you a solid too? Yeah, I guess he didn't think he didn't think I was uh attractive Shit. enough <laughs> to be hollered at by a gay man. That's funny as hell. Um, Sexuality is a very sensitive topic. It does get people very riled up and emotional. Um. And I've said this a million times. People are going to see. They're not going to see you. They're going to mm -hmm. see whatever reflection, you know, of whatever's going on. Like it's, it could be a reflection of their trauma. It could be a reflection of their insecurity. It could be whatever. Like, you know, what I mean, we it, it was very obvious that we were having a. We weren't trying to be super serious. Uh, you know, we were having a conversation about uh, in an interview. We were having some fun. Uh, there was no intention around that conversation to disrespect anybody in that community or a big sexy for that matter. Like I, you know what I mean? How many times you said that that was your dog? Y'all hang out, y'all talk, you know what I mean? Like, I think we were just having an honest conversation. I think that people just are sensitive. They just want to be mad. Like they trying to find somebody to be mad about. And this whole I don't, I don't, I don't Man, understand. Make, I, I don't know. I'm gonna make it worse or better. I don't know. Cause I, I don't, I don't, um, I honestly mean what I said, right? My question is, how do is 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 an apology an apology if you're apologizing for how you made somebody feel? Like if I meant what I meant, right? I meant what I said. I mean it. I I don't take it back. But okay. if it made you feel uncomfortable, I apologize. Is that is that a cool? Is that a good apology? Or is that like kind of backhanded? No, I mean if you it, it, all right. If I'm saying something, my intention, it's crazy because the question you're asking is some shit that I've had to go through a thousand times. I am who I am. I'm going to say what I say. I don't have a filter. Mm. And my thing is, I wasn't raised 
the same way a lot of other people's raised in my family we say exactly what's on our mind we don't sugarcoat nothing mm. like my parents come at me raw like they say the rawest very hurtful things like you know what i mean but their intention is not to hurt me mm. their intention is to be honest and direct so that we could get to direct solutions mm. so i've kind of grown up with that same kind of like uh what do they call it delivery mm. so like if i say something to you and it comes off a little rough it's not meant to hurt you so if somebody was to say man what you just said hurt my feelings i have to be man enough to recognize that you know what maybe my delivery was off i apologize my intention is not to hurt you however if it did i, I apologize not because i'm weak or i'm trying to capitulate to somebody but no i have to recognize is that the way i was raised in the way that i'm accustomed to communicating may not be as uh, uh gentle or as polished it's mm. almost like corporate you know when you're in a corporate world there's a bunch of things you can't say and you have to be very careful how you say stuff to people because there's so many people with different backgrounds but when we get into this and you work for yourself it's kind of hard to turn that off when you're accustomed to it okay. like you know what i mean when, so what i will say is if if my delivery was uh like out of pocket i would definitely apologize for that i'm a man of of character at the right. same time, I do, but I I stand on everything I say, and I and I, I call Big Sexy and I ask him like, "Yo, is this like uh homophobic or something?" He was like, "Nah," but I can see like fifty fifty. Like I can see what where they coming right. from, why they would think it's fake. Right. My thing is, I'm gonna say this again. I am not an ally of any organization or group of people. I'm not. I'm an ally to the individuals a part of it. So although I definitely think like Black Lives Matter for sure, and I'm for my Black people, I'm not. Uh, ignorant to think to 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 use that as if no black person is wrong, a bad person if that makes sense like no i have to yeah, but but uh, you know allying with a group doesn't mean now you approve of everything that everybody yeah, that's that's and that's what so i'm like, saying like so like i am an ally to the trans gay and uh, let's just say the alphabet community i LGBTQ am an ally plus. meaning that L them them niggas so like <laughs> like i'm with y'all because i respect look you have a right to exist you have a right to the same rights that i have mm. you have the right to live and do what you do does that mean i would like to take a dick in my ass no hey, fucking but no. i i respect that you do what you do and y'all have fun, whatever. However, we all have to agree that there is neutral ground and neutral. We have to establish neutral space so that a we can all exist, you know, without I don't just the same way. Y'all don't want me tongue a girl down a finger popping her in public. I don't need you playing with another man booty in public. The mm. same, you know, what I mean, there are just we need to have our general spaces where we should have our rules on how we should conduct ourselves. And then once you're away from public and y'all are in your own personal spaces, we all do whatever the hell and, we want. And I like that. And I think, I mean, we can't do this on the internet, but who gives, who gives a damn? I wish it right. was a space for people to be able to learn in real time. Cause even that, like, cause in my mind, again, I'm thinking allies one way, right? So I might say that, right. but if I don't have someone on, on the other side of the screen to explain it, then I'm only thinking what, what from the knowledge that I have, the wisdom that I have, right? So I guess that is right. So I am an ally, right? But like you said, just because I'm an ally I don't mean I have to agree with every single thing. And I think this is where I wish that we could be more open as a people, as a whole, yeah. right? <laughs> like, it's like, bro, I don't have to agree with any, I can, and, and I'm able to give my, like my experience, like, bro, like if I felt uncomfortable, I could say that. And just because I felt uncomfortable don't mean that I'm fucking gay or I, uh, I'm not an ally, nigga. I just wasn't, I didn't grow up around this shit, nigga. I went to a all white school and I wasn't, a, and I wasn't comfortable in, at, there. Does that mean I want to be white? No, nigga. I just no. wasn't used to it. Like, like here's the, here's the component of it. I was specifically raised in a family and in a culture that was not forgiving or understanding of the alphabet community mm. i had to no word. Un Should I, I, had to un I had to unprogram myself and then reprogram myself so that i could see and understand and respect that group of people that doesn't mean that now i'm perfect i'm still 
I'm still reprogramming. I'm still trying to get to an understanding. But two seconds. I'm sorry. Somebody in the comments made me die laughing. Y'all only support whoever popping. You goddamn right, King Coffee. I'm <laughs> only supporting you because you hot right now. Outside of that, I would never talk to you. I'm sorry. No, I'm uh, but I like you're black before you when you're black before you're gay people don't want to talk about it Ooh. i don't understand what that means nah, i mean I'm, like but all i'm saying is what i just feel like i don't know bro like yo just because i don't agree with something don't mean that i'm I, like i don't know like that's just weird bro so like when i seen the comments you know it's funny because usually like i'm you know me i'm a i take i'll be taking things personal i really looked at these comments and with all due respect to the LGBTQ community, I gave no fucks. Like I like, I'm like, bro, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Like, this is one of the few times because you know me, I internalize a lot. This is one right. of the few times I'm like, bro, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Like, like I'm really like, well, you obviously knew that this has nothing to do with me at all. Like, like y'all are having a moment to yourself. Thanks. I'm like, bro, y'all niggas need to take nigga, take a break <laughs> and, and go debrief with yourself because I know I fuck with big sexy right like i don't give a fuck if he's gay or not he could be pink brown i don't give a fuck what you are like he's a good person right but i should be able to talk about my experiences from my opinion and then not bother you just like you could do the same thing i'm gonna give you the same space like and just and another thing that i don't like about the internet is like if i'm telling you about a past like how i felt in like this is what i felt this is what got me to the point that i'm at before like now that means that i'm talking about then not now like i'm like Correct. some people will hear you talk about this is this is how i arrived at this def des destination and all they want to talk about is the process to the destination it's like nigga, i'm telling you i'm here now but <laughs> at a time i was here you want to keep talking about the time i was there like are you not listening do you not have comprehension like i don't know because some people like to live in pain some people don't want to live uh, some people don't want to live in the solution they want to live in the pain because they feel like by living in the pain, it justifies them not having to grow. Okay. So like, you know what I mean? You want to keep arguing about some shit. How about that was the past? How about we let that go? And then we just grow from here. Yeah. Like we don't have to stay there. Like it's not necessary. But some people really get like literally some people literally get caught up in the past. And 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 be, they use that as the reason why they can't move forward. And that's, Instead of understand, go ahead. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Instead He's of not, bro. I said that's why I, I love that I'm independent because, bro, like, man, you niggas is just in y'all feelings. And no, I'm not about to go on a whole apology tour. To, no, no, no. If you don't get it, so be it. An apology tour for what? Like, I'm. Not, I, I mean, we, we're gonna call Big Sexy up. I mean, we could, which would be fun. You can call Big Sexy up and get him on a live. I'm not gonna do nothing but cause more problems. You bring Big Sexy right here, the jokes is gonna fly. It's gonna go crazy. He, the funny thing about it, what they don't know is he gonna like he he don't he give gonna, a fuck like, like he, this nigga don't give a fuck more than we don't give a fuck. Like y'all talk about <laughs> us, he probably gonna have more jokes than us. Like that nigga is like. <laughs> ah, shout that, out to him, man. That nigga don't I, damn, like I, I'm gonna move to this this question in, in the uh, yo. Shout out to everybody that's on J Hill Live.